Prog Pal. What is this and why does this have the Ethereum community buzzing about it? Well, ProcPal is a new mining algorithm, which if adopted by Ethereum, could change the landscape of Ethereum mining forever. So if you're curious about this and want to learn more from a high level beginner's perspective, then all you have to do is just keep on watching. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin from Bitcoin for Beginners, here to bring you interesting and informative content with no frills nor fluff. So real quick before we get started, if you could support me by smashing the like button and subscribing down below if you haven't already, I would appreciate you immensely. So let's take a look now. So what is ProgPal in a nutshell? Well, it stands for Programmatic Proof of Work, that's how it got the name, and it's an extension of Fhash, which is the current Ethereum proof of work algorithm, the one that all the miners use today. The idea of this new algorithm is to make GPUs more competitive versus ASICs and hence reduce all the centralized mining going on. Basically, the purpose is to get ASIC resistance for the Ethereum blockchain network. This would also make all the current Ethereum ASICs obsolete, which means if you currently have one, then there really won't be a point to use your ASICs anymore after this is adopted, if it gets adopted. And all the code for ProgPow is public. It's on their GitHub page that you can go take a look at. So if you're curious why ASIC resistance is a focus at all in the crypto world, here are some reasons. First, most people don't have ASICs and there's really no reason to buy it besides crypto mining. Whereas GPUs, you can use it for like gaming computers and so forth. And there's also no reserve pool of ASIC hardware or participants. If you have an ASIC, you must be using it or else it's just rotting away, losing you money every day. And so therefore, it's very hard to kind of divest control from centralized pools quickly. Like even if there are only a few pools with a lot of hash power, if you have GPUs, you can switch them around quickly or have a reserve pool of people come in to start mining if a circumstance calls for that. There's also a real high barrier to entry. ASICs are much more high performance than GPUs, but they also cost a ton more money. And so that is the trade-off. Thus, just by virtue of having the mining rewards going to people who can afford the capital to buy ASICs will make those coins centralized. Finally, large custom ASIC makers have no incentive right now to play fair or be transparent. They could add backdoors or do various other things that benefit themselves. All these reasons are why people have been looking for various ways to create ASIC resistance for blockchain networks so that more people can participate and have a more robust and decentralized mining going on. So just on the high level, what is ProgPal's effect? Well, if you remember, Fhash is the current proof of work algorithm for Ethereum and ProgPal is the proposed one. And so when you go from GPU to ASIC with various other components attached, Fhash with an ASIC, you can get two times or even four times better efficiency with that kind of hardware. Whereas with ProgPal, the efficiency is really minimal. It's like 1.2x or 1.5x, not really worth it as much as if you got a 2x or 4x gain. This ProgPal has been under consideration for quite a while now. It's been debated since last year, and it was also discussed during the most recent January 4th Ethereum core developers meeting and they have decided to tentatively move forward with it. They want to pursue it, but they say that they need more time to test it and properly implement this. And they definitely don't want to squeeze it into the Constantinople hard fork because it'd be too reckless to do it too soon. But most of the major players in the Ethereum core community seem supportive of this new algorithm. It's admittedly a work of progress though. The code has been so far reviewed by Ethereum Foundation engineers, NVIDIA engineers, and AMD as well. The Parity and Geth clients already have pending feature changes that enable support for ProgPal. An Ethereum testnet called Gangnam has been launched to specifically test ProgPal. Also support for this algorithm has been added to the Open Ethereum pool, which is an open source mining pool which anyone can join in. And other more developmental things in progress as well. So here are some of the technical details behind ProgPal on a very high level. Just remember, proof of work is just a math puzzle that miners have to solve in order for the right to add blocks to the blockchain network and get rewards as well. ProgPal changes this math puzzle to make it better matched to what's available on commodity GPUs that we can buy off the shelf. 
The main elements of this algorithm, I'm not gonna read all of it because it gets a little bit too in depth, but you can just take a look over here. I included it in the slide. They change various parts of the math puzzle, add in random sequences of math. Basically the tasks you have to solve, they made it more tuned for commodity GPUs. So that technically speaking, you can still make an ASIC for this ProcPal algorithm, but it really wouldn't be worth it because the efficiency gain you get on top of the, a regular CPU wouldn't be that much. And hence this encourages more average Joes to participate with GPUs instead of letting just the huge ASIC farms handle the mining of a particular coin. So who's behind ProcPal? Well, it's created by the If Def Else team, and that includes Miss If or Christy Lay Minahan, and her Twitter handle is oh God, a Girl. She has background in Genesis Mining, Core Scientific, and The Minority, various mining-related, hardware-related projects in the crypto space. Mr. Def and Mr. Else, who is Radix Pi on GitHub. Only Christy, as far as I know, is public. The rest of them are behind pseudonyms. They are a team of hardware engineers with a focus on mining hardware and algorithms. This is particularly important and a new take because most of crypto are software engineers, right? And they don't necessarily know what's best from the hardware perspective. So this is kind of a refreshing expertise coming into the space and giving out new ideas as to how mining should be made. They also are a part-time team as far as I know, and they did win the Zcash grant to kind of explore more about how ProcPal can work inside not only Ethereum, but also Zcash. There are, however, some members of the community which don't like this and have critiqued it. Some people say that this is a front for NVIDIA or AMD interests because Christy does have ties to them and have worked with them to kind of review the code of this ProcPal algorithm. Others have said that this will force ASIC manufacturers to keep this specialized hardware a secret and make it even worse on transparency and centralization in the Ethereum network. Others say that this is a distraction from proof of stake and for 2019, we should just focus all efforts on proof of stake. Other people say that this really just tinkers the algorithm and the network for one group, AKA GPU miners over another, AKA ASIC miners, and it's not worth having a separate hard fork over. Some people also ponder that it may cause a contentious hard fork in the future in which we may see two different Ethereum coins come out of it if people don't like how this is going. Other people say that ASICs actually make the network more secure just see Ethereum Classic on how there wasn't a lot of hash power needed in order to attack the network, and so that ASICs actually give additional hash power and protect the network. And finally, people say that there hasn't been any evidence of centralization of Ethereum miners so far, and hence, this is kind of just not really needed at all until proven necessary. What about my personal opinion? Well, I'm not an Ethereum miner at all, but I think this is a very interesting proposal. I do like how Ethereum has a lot of average Joes like you and I, GPU mining, whereas we really can't do so with BTC unless we throw down a lot of money on like a Bitmain miner. I also love how the Ethereum community is down to debate and pursue new ideas. Now there is potentially limited effect of Proc Pow in terms of the lasting power, depending on when proof of stake is launched and adopted but it still could help if Ethereum ends up initially becoming hybrid proof of work proof of stake. It would also be nice to see this run successfully on another blockchain network first, maybe Zcash before going to Ethereum, but depending on the schedules and timelines that might not be possible. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. What did you think about this? Especially if you're in the mining world and have heard about this proposal, let me know your thoughts and whether you support ProcPow or not. I would love to hear from you. Once again, if you can support me by smashing the like button, subscribing down below if you haven't already. This is Kevin. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you guys next time.